Welcome into the channel, everyone. Even though I hate to talk about it and I hate to show it, today I'm gonna teach you how to properly weave it wide and wish it well when it comes to MIG and flux score. The machine that we're gonna end up using today for both MIG and flux score is gonna be the Rustler 280 Pro from ESOP. We're gonna be doing a longer weld today, so I'm definitely gonna go to that trigger and hit that 4T. Basically, I can hit that trigger and let go, and then we can keep going. My goal is not to stop while we weld so we can get the best weave that we can. This almost feels like it's so wide, I'm just kind of stacking horizontal beads. It just seems like a silly thing to have to do. Just keep on keeping on with this right here, getting to the left side, holding it, slow bead to the right side, holding it, slow bead to the left side, holding it. Even when you buff the ugly off of it, it's still, still not my thing. That little bit of side to side action that we do and hitting that edge is the only pause we really need. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm just casually bouncing side to side. I'm keeping my wire inside the bevel edge. I know behind this big puddle I'm carrying, it's stacking up pretty heavy. That's more like it. That's what we should have been seeing this whole freaking time. This isn't a really hard process and really weaving is not difficult with these two wire fit process, but I was fighting that. Man, that, that sucks that we fought that all stinking day and didn't get, figure it out to the cap. 